In this unit, you learned about part three of the IELTS speaking test. Now it's your turn to practice doing a short sample discussion. Remember, in this part of the test, you will take part in a discussion with the examiner. The examiner will ask you to discuss some more general or abstract concepts which relate in some way to the topic in part two. In other words, you may be asked to describe, compare, predict, suggest or evaluate certain ideas. Remember to expand your answers using techniques such as giving reasons and examples, personalising the answer and commenting on the question. Remember, throughout the exam, the examiner will be listening to your responses and assessing your level of spoken English. The examiner will focus on four main areas, fluency and coherence. Fluency means how well you can speak continuously without needing to stop, while coherence refers to how clearly you organise and link your ideas together when you speak. Lexical resource. That is your ability to accurately use a range of vocabulary and expressions to clearly express your ideas. Grammatical range and accuracy, or how well you can use English grammar. Pronunciation, or how clearly and naturally you produce the sounds of English. Now think about your strengths and weaknesses in these four areas. Are there areas you feel confident with? Are there some you perhaps need to practice more? Take the time to look at how you answer questions, remembering to focus on your fluency and coherence, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy, and pronunciation.